Oh, we have on the bench a uh, Kenwood TS930S HF uh, Ulmo transceiver. Uh, the radio is in perfect working order other than the uh, dial lights are out. Uh, it's something I've lived with uh, for a while, um, but uh, it would be nice to uh, have them working. So we've got a bit of spare time. It's a fairly simple job, we're hoping. Um, we're just going to replace the uh, existing uh, incandescent globes with uh, new LED lights. The uh, DC rail voltage for the lights is uh, 28 volts. The incandescent globes appear to be wound, uh, wired in series. Uh, probably going to uh, set the LEDs up in parallel with a um, current limiting resistor um, of the order of 1.8 K ohms. Alright, let's have a look inside the radio. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the two lights appear to be here. There we go, there's one, there's the other, and they are wide and serious. I'm not sure if that's exactly how they were wired at the point of manufacture. I had a feeling they were in parallel, but uh, there we go, and that's the DC supply there. So we'll just measure that, see which one is uh, plus and minus, and then we should be able to uh, set the LEDs up. These look like a very convenient size that uh, a standard LED might fit uh, snugly into the uh, Globe receptacle. Well, let's hope. Okay, we've uh, chosen a blue LED. Um, uh, I'm hoping that it'll look alright. Have a brief uh, try of uh, plugging it into the socket, and uh, uh, it's very blue. Uh, we'll probably get used to it. Do have white. Um, and try something different. Okay, so we're putting the uh, current limiting resistor on the anode, which has been somewhat shortened. Make it as sort of a standard to put the resistor on the anode, just so we know where it is um, once they've been trimmed. It's a little bit more obvious. We'll uh, slip a bit of heat shrink over that. And this is the uh, positive lead, so we'll give that a bit of red tubing. And lead can have uh, some black tubing. Just give it a quick on test. Nice bright blue LED. Possibly a little bit on the, the bright side, but we'll uh, see how we go. Let's 
Let's the fruit shrink. Heat from the iron to shrink it around the resistor. Okay, we've determined that the uh, LEDs are a bit bright for the uh, application, uh, particularly when the uh, room's dull. Uh, so what we've done is put a, another 1.8K resistor in the uh, negative lead. So there's one in the positive lead and one in the negative lead. It's a total of uh, um, 3.6K series resistance with these uh, bright LEDs. Um, they also draw a fair bit of current too. I noticed with uh, just the one the uh, resistor was getting noticeably warm So uh, that should also reduce that effect All right, we'll uh, See what it looks like now with uh, the uh, extra current limiting resistors in there hmm. These LEDs are very bright and have a clear lens So what we're going to do is just scuff those up a little bit See if we can uh, create a bit of light diffusion. And that seems to have diffused it a little bit, so we just plug that back in. Alright, I think that looks quite good. I think we've got the brightness right. So again, it's the um, uh, bright LEDs uh, with a uh, 3.6k ohm total series resistance for current limiting. Resistors run a little bit cooler. The uh, display is not overly bright and uh, also a uh, little bit of scuffing of the LED lens has uh, diffused the light a bit better making it a far more pleasant display all right i think that is it we are now going to uh, put the radio back together again and uh, put it back in service